Tää on toinen We've got to find the cane killer before he hurts Scott. Scotty died three years ago. Come on, Skippy. Davies will have our asses if we don't show up ten minutes ago. Reed, we're paying for the damn cell phone so that you take the call when I ring you. Is that clear? White male, cause of death, strangulation. They're getting worse. I told you to go see someone about that. I know when people need healing and how to help them heal. Cordelia? Someone I met today. She knows you. I stole a flower from her brother's grave. I need that package. It may provide clues to an ongoing investigation. Anthony Longmore was a killer. But if this piece of shit was murdered last night, then who killed him? We make a good team, don't we? It's Davies. She's a target. <sighs> Sully, John, the suspect is on the run. And... And I found Davies. Tämä mystistä tuossa lopussa tapahtui kyllä. Jaha. Mukavaa. McAdam sure got here fast. DC is only a two-hour flight. I know, but that doesn't mean I like it. It wasn't exactly solve cases in rainbows for me when he used to be our director. Huh. How are you holding up? What happened at the meeting house was... I don't want to talk about it, Sully. I'm about to go over it again with McAdams, and I just want to break for a few minutes. Yeah, okay. If you want to, though, well, you know. What do you want to talk about? Thanks for your help earlier. A anytime. Hey, you need help, I'm your man. It was nothing. <laughs> it wasn't nothing, Sully. I appreciated it. Like I said, we're a good team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're not bad. How's your case going? This thing's a piece of work. Sicko going out there and cutting out people's eyes, their ears, and their tongues. I'm calling her the wise monkey. Cute. Huh? Yeah, there was a partial fingerprint on one of these little charms, like from a bracelet, that were left at the crime scenes. Came back matching the prints from this missing girl. Plus, she used to take lessons from the latest victim, a retired opera singer. Pretty vicious stuff. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm trying not to let anything surprise me anymore. How you been lately? We haven't talked much in a few weeks. Yeah, that'll happen when you don't return my calls. Hey. <sighs> Sorry about that. It's not that I don't like you, Sully. I do. It's just not something I can talk about yet. I get it, Erica. Everyone's got secrets and baggage and shit. I've got mine. Hell, we're FBI. It's practically part of the job requirements. <laughs> not to mention one of the job risks. Why don't we grab a drink after we're done here? <laughs> Sully, it's 2 a.m. All the bars are closed. There's always beer in my fridge. What do you say? Toss back some Sam Adams and bitch about Sam McAdams? <laughs> it would be fitting. <sighs> and I could use a beer after the day I've had. Hi. I heard y'all had some night owls in need of coffee up here. Yeah, thanks. Sounds good. Here you are, darling. How about you, hun? Yeah, coffee sounds good, thanks. Are you the new office assistant? That's me. Just started last week. My name's Tess. Let's see. Y'all must be Erica. <laughs> they must have told you about the hair, huh? Only redhead in the building. You're up, Red. I'll see you kids in the morning. 
We have to later today. God damn, it's late. Oof. Good luck, Erica. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Tosi kiva. Joo, epäonnistui murhan pysäyttämisessä. Special Agent Reed. Director. It's late and I'm not interested in wasting time. How the hell is Davies dead and her killer not apprehended? I tried. I fired at the killer. The bastard just kept dodging. Dodging bullets? This isn't a comic book, Agent. I'm telling you what I saw, Director. I fired and the killer never got hit. If you have any doubts about my aim, just talk to the guys at the shooting range. Why did the killer choose the Old South meeting hall? Whoa. Dizzy. You look pale. I'm fine. No niin, tää oli edellistä osasta Judge Samuel Sivella. It's the site where Samuel Sewell repented for his involvement in the Salem witch trials. The killer was drawing a parallel between him and Davies. She got an anonymous email mentioning him recently too. That email was in Madison's inbox. What were you doing snooping around in here, Agent? Estä mä murhaa muun muassa. Doing my job. And if I hadn't come in here and found that email, we probably wouldn't even know she was dead yet. You have no right to break into a superior's office. If you do it again while I'm here, don't count on me going lightly on you. Okay. Now, tell me what you know about Tätä this mess. Kitolle. Someone was in communication with Davies, telling her things about Anthony Longmore, the hangman. She wrote it off as a kook, but when he showed up dead, she looked back into it. Huh. So first this person was helping her, then hunting her? He got angry when she didn't listen, but the threat was always there. If Davies had followed up on the leads, she would have seen that she was a target. What have you got to prove this? I can't focus. Picture and the facts. Oh. Here. The facts pointed to the post office and a piece of the Le Pendu, and those scraps from a picture of Davies. So, if it wasn't Goodman getting revenge on Longmore, then who was it? I don't know yet, but I'm not going to stop until I find out. You? I don't think so, Agent. You're not on this case. <sighs> I thought you'd say that. Let me guess. I'm too close. Got it in one. I'm surprised uh. to hear it from you, though. I expected you'd pitch another fit like you did with Kane. I'm glad to see you've learned better. That was... different. It was my brother, McAdams. I'm not as close on this case. I mean, I Spare me. Me. I've heard it before. The fact is, your performance ever since then has been sporadic at best. Sporadic? Don't get too upset. It happens to the best agents after a loss like that. But it's been three years, Erica, and your performance is all over the place. Some cases you're solving almost before the ink dries on the evidence reports. Others are getting drawn out far too long. You need to get your shit together. I can't risk this in the hands of someone who isn't consistent. Shit. The room's spinning. Agent Reed, are you all right? I just, I need to use the bathroom, get some water. Ugh, what's wrong with me? What the hell? Hmm. Sully. Sully! Freeze! No, uh huh? Bitch. Sully. Psychopathic can't be a turn on bad things.
Kyllä täältä lähti korva. Reed! Reed! Erika, wake up, damn it! What? McAdams? Sully, where is he? Gone. I found you out here, along with a lot of blood and... that. I saw her do it. The secretary. That bitch drugged us. They're gone by now. But I need you working, if you can. No, I'm fine now. What do I need to do? Get out there and find Agent Sullivan. I'm calling everyone back in. A blood smear. What the? My tires are freaking slashed. Damn it! Son of a. Ah! Oh. My spare tire. I paid extra for a full tire. Not that it helps when all four of mine are slashed. Hmm? Hello? Is someone in there? What the hell? Hang on, I'll get you out! This is not going to work with this. I'll get you out of there. Todistaja löyty. Tess, how are you feeling? Jumpy as a frog. What happened? We're trying to find out. Tell me what you remember. I got off work and I came out here. I was stepping over to my car and someone asked if if I had dropped something. I started to turn around and then and, and then she blew this powder in my face and oh oh I don't know. I can't remember past that. You're all right, Tess. You're safe now. Did she have a southern accent too? No. She sounded like she was from around here. What did she look like? She had blonde hair and a long coat, I think. I didn't see her face. I'm sorry. Any other details? What kind of build? How tall? Oh, um, gosh. I don't know. Maybe, maybe your height? Sort of average build? Tess, the woman who did this is a suspect in a serial killer case. Don't worry. You aren't the target. You were just a way to get in the building. But she's taken another agent hostage, and we need to know everything so we can find him. Oh, Lord. Mama said this job was a bad idea. I should have listened. I'll help, but I don't know what I can tell you. Can I get you anything? <laughs> just get this over with so I can go home, please. All right, but not to... Of course. Tess, thanks for staying for this. I know it'll be tough, but I need for you to think about what happened and remember as many details as possible. I, I'll try, Agent. That's no, just her word. No. She knows she's the last guns. 
näyttää suunnilleen tuolta. What did that woman put in her pocket? Tess, would you check your pockets for me? M my pockets? Um, all right. It's not mine, I swear. How, how did you know? Call it a hunch. And don't worry, I know it's not yours. Thanks for staying to talk to me, Tess. I'm sorry I wasn't more help. Everything helps narrow it down. Get yourself checked out at the hospital. Someone will give you a ride there. And if you do think of anything, give me a call. I will. Oh, I'm sorry. I never got your name. Erica Reed. Someone was looking for you. Her name was Cordelia? Oh, you were in when she came by and everything was all crazy with what happened to Director Davies. I took down her number and left it with Gwen when I got off my ship. Thanks. I'll get it from her. I don't think this job is for me after all. This is all just too much, no. but good luck with your case. Kaikkien tuntuu takaisin. Mikä on saa? Teatre mask charm. This theater mask's charm is new. It was left in Tess's pocket. Huh. What's wrong? You look out of sorts. I don't know what I'm going to do. We've got missing evidence. I think it was that woman who took Sully. What did she steal? Evidence from the Wise Monkey case. We had four charms from the crime scene, but three of them are gone now. And I've got these forms to take to McAdams, and oh shoot! Just breathe. Huh. Tess told me she took down a phone number for me and gave it to you? Right, I forgot all about it. Here you go. Mene pomollekin on pakko jutella. Joo, pääsi, pääsi taas karkuun. McAdams? Agent Reed? It wasn't Tess. She was drugged and locked up in her car before anything happened up here. Shit. Does she remember anything about the person who came at her? Nothing too useful. Sir, given what was done to Sully and the case he was working on, I really believe that... The wise monkey. I thought of that too. I've told IT to get you access to his computer. Get on his computer and find whatever info on this you can. Abduction isn't part of the M.O. She's gotten bolder. Something must have changed for her. Find out what? Wise monkey is your case now, Agent Reed. Find Agent Sullivan as soon as possible. Okay. I'll get back to it. See that you do. This place is a mess. At least the file I need is on top. You're gonna tell this crazy story to them over some beers at the next family reunion. Promise. Sully's hard copy of the Wise Monkey case files. Let's see what you got. The third victim was Colleen Lavery, a sophomore year Berkeley student majoring in performance. Found on a stage at the school, pushed from a set balcony and stabbed during the night. Her tongue and eyes were removed. This was the first time the killer removed more than one organ. A silver charm shaped like a G clef was found with her. Kustumanen puukko. Sitten tekijä. First victim, Luke Jensen. Recently graduated Berkeley College of Music. He was found behind his apartment in Brighton, pushed off a fire escape, stabbed, and his eyes removed. A silver violin-shaped charm was later found at the scene. Okay, eli, eli tääkin oli työnnetty jostain korkealta.
Second victim, Nick Stewart, a.k.a. DJ Abhorrence. He spun at Jaunty Abyss, a club in downtown Boston. Pushed from a staircase outside the club, stabbed, ears removed. A silver bell-shaped charm was found with his body. Fourth and most recent victim, Heather Ann, a retired opera singer who also gave lessons. Found in her home, she'd been pushed from the upper landing of the stairs, killed on the first floor. Lived alone, no witnesses. Kelsey was one of her students up until last spring, eyes, ears, and tongue removed. A piano charm was found at the crime scene. Nää niinku charmit, mitä on jätetty Pissit, mitä on jätetty paikalla Sally's stress ball always looks like it's laughing at me I don't have any evidence to look at right now. The case database. I can access closed and current cases here. The wise monkey killer is fixated on the removal of the eyes, ears, and or tongues of her victims. Each victim has been pushed from a height, stabbed yep. in the abdomen, and then had one or more of these sense organs removed. Cause of death has either been from the head trauma of the fall or bleeding out from the stab wounds. Removal of the organs has always been post mortem. But the nutrients who say, Osan Osan, Kelsey was gaining confidence as she continued to kill. Looks like Sully thought they might all be connected to her and the deaths were part of some personal vendetta. Makes sense. Revenge killings are fairly common for female serial killers. Her methods particularly gruesome, though. Question is, why Sully? We've only had this case for a few weeks. How'd she even know he was on it? Much less have time to plan this. Hmm. I don't have any evidence. One evidence form coming up. Paperitöitä. Hey Gwen, any news? Not really. Sorry. I need the charms that are in evidence for the wise monkey case. Thanks to that thief, I've only got one. Fill out the form and it's all yours. I hope it helps you catch that awful woman. Was this guitar charm one of the ones in evidence? No, none of them were guitar shaped. This one's new. Interesting. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. Let's see what this gets me. Here's the form. Okay. Hang tight for a minute. Hope that helps. It will. Thank you. Aika tyynesti no käsittelee noita todisteita ilman mitään käsineen. Okay. Kelsey Gardner, age 21. Born and raised in White Rock, New Mexico. Moved to Boston to attend Berkeley College of Music, majoring in performance and composition. Dropped out in the middle of her junior year. Last known address is in Dorchester. 
reported missing by her parents last June after a few weeks of not hearing from her. Last seen entering her apartment by neighbors two weeks prior on May 30th. Worked at a nearby coffee shop, didn't report for any shifts after May 30th. She was suffering from financial issues at the time. Circumstantial evidence suggests she may have run away. Everyone on this list was musically inclined in some way. I need to find out more about Kelsey to figure out where she might have taken Sully. The Dean of Students at Berkeley is a good place to start, and her landlord can probably let me into her old apartment. I've done everything I can from here. Time to hit the okay, street. Okay, now it's Berkeley College of Music. Must be Special Agent Reed. I am. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me, Dean Chapman. Of course. Now, how can I help you? I need some information on a former student, Kelsey Gardner. Kelsey Gardner. Oh yes, the missing girl. Has she been found? Not exactly. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Uh, what can I do to help, Agent? Those two don't work together. Isn't it wouldn't have that. Dean Chapman? Hello, Agent Reed. What can you tell me about Kelsey? Um, not much, I'm afraid. I try to get to know every student, but with so many of them, it's hard to know some more than passingly. Uh, she was brought to my attention while the police investigated her disappearance. Asking why she dropped out? Yes, uh, financial problems are real shame. She lost her merit scholarship after two years. Her grades dropped, and then uh, she dropped out during her junior year. Hmm. Why not try to get a student loan? Uh, I'm not sure. I think she uh, tried, but she wasn't able to get one. Huh. Then what happened to her? Uh, I'm not sure, I'm afraid. What classes did Kelsey take? Uh, most of her classes were in performance and composition, specifically singing. Okay. Did she ever take any classes with you? Uh, oh yeah, she took one of my composition classes. So you must have known her from that. Those classes are rather large, you must understand. Uh, now that I think about it, I do remember her being in my class, though she wasn't the most involved student. Kannattaa katsella omaa silän taakse. Why did she have so much trouble getting a loan? Well, you'd have to uh, talk to a creditor for those details, but uh, it's always an unfortunate situation. Mm, college doesn't come cheap. No, it doesn't, but the college has costs to cover as well. No magic wand to wave, as it were. What about her family? They couldn't pay? Well, I don't know what her family's situation was. Did Kelsey have any friends I could talk to? Uh, I don't know what her social circle was, but I could put you in touch with her old roommate. I'd appreciate Nani. that. Uh, Homelin, uh, could you please contact the former roommate of Kelsey Gardner? Uh, Agent Reed would like to speak with her. Certainly, sir. I'll have her information ready for when Agent Reed is done. I'd also like to ask you about two other Berkeley students. They were recent murder victims. Oh, yes, of course. Has progress been made in either of their cases? We believe they were the victims of the same killer. Actually, I'm pursuing the possibility that Kelsey Gardner killed them both. I need to know if there was any connection beyond them all going to school here. You, you really think she might have killed them? Kelsey? My God, I would have never thought. You said you didn't know her very well. I, well, uh, no, but uh, I'd be shocked to hear that about any of our students. Hmm. I'll help you Luke Jensen was a recent graduate. Do you know if he and Kelsey had any classes together, or if they were friends? Well, I'll check our student records. No classes together. They didn't live in any of the same dorms. Oh, here we are. It looks like Kelsey was tutored by Luke in her freshman year in 
composition. Yeah, Were really. those one-on-one -on -one sessions? Uh, probably. Small group sessions at most. How did she do in the class? Uh, she got a B in that semester, but in later composition courses, her grades fell. Her last grade in that subject was a D. Mm, sounds like the lessons didn't stick. Calling Lady is still a student here. Here. What can you tell me about her? A bright young woman, very talented singer. Her death was truly tragic, and what was done to her was just awful. Any connection between her and Kelsey? Uh, no classes together. Uh, hmm. uh, the merit scholarship that Kelsey lost was awarded to Colleen the next year. Uh. Would Kelsey have known this? Well, it's possible some scholarships announce whom they've been awarded to. Tell me about yourself. Well, I've been the Dean of Students at Berkeley for the last five years. Uh, before that, I was a professor here. I taught in the strings department, as well as some composition courses. How much interaction do you get with the students now? Well, I make the effort to meet all of them at the very least. I still teach one course a semester as well, and of course a few students do their work study in the offices here. Those are all the questions I have for now. Can you think of anything else I should know about Kelsey or either of the victims? Uh, no, that's all I can think of. If you think of anything, contact me. Thank you for your time, Dean Chapman. Okay, Tan. Yes, we have a high time plan to Good luck, Agent Reed. Ugh, that thing's a mess. Paper sticking out, overstuffed drawers. It's like the university equivalent of shoving things under your bed. The drawers are labeled personnel, finances, coursework, and miscellaneous. Uh, is there something you need from my files, Agent? Uh, no. Sorry. I'd be more surprised if he didn't have a few of these in his office. Wow. Is that cello signed by Yo-Yo Ma? Damn! And a guitar signed by the Beatles? That had to set him back a lot. I can play a little piano, but I'd be embarrassing myself playing in front of him. Isn't that one of those really swanky hotels in Dubai? Ei varmaan en opettajalla. Amerikkalaisilla opettajalla on tällaisen varaa. Impressive. Tähän on ihan... Office of the Dean of Students, Berkeley College of Music. Official looking stuff. Kaikkien täytyy koskea mihin saa käpänänsä. May I take a copy of this? Well, do you need it for something? Uh, not really. Uh, then I'd rather you didn't. Mm -hmm. I've been having an easier time with my powers. Well, except for what happened at the Old South Meeting House. What happened there? I'm not sure. I was running at the killer, and suddenly I started getting flashes. Seeing and hearing things without trying to. I couldn't control it or focus, and... That's when the killer took the shot and killed Davies. That's awful. But whose memory is it? That's the thing. I don't know. It feels like it's mine, but it's not a memory. It's like it hasn't happened yet. Odd indeed. But sometimes these powers we have expand without warning. I could try to help you focus on it to learn more. Maybe another time. I can't right now. I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. Find another item to work with that wrong number and bring them back here. Then we can try. I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. Uh, I have the pen that secretary took down the wrong number with. Good. Hold them both together and use your powers on them at the same time. It should give you a clearer image, show you the memory that these things share.
Noin. Nyt, nyt mä sain, että se toimii. 617-555-1342 Aha, okei. Okay. I'll give this to Agent Reed when she gets back. It's working. I've got the number. And they say synergy's just a buzzword. <laughs> Do you think if I combine even more items, I can make a memory clearer? See more of it? I should think so. If you had a number of items that had been in the same place at the same time. That'll come in handy. Rikospaikalla. Hi, Cordelia. This is Erica Reed. Erica, hello. I'm so glad to hear from you. Sorry it took a while. I'm glad you came by, though. I wanted to talk to you about something. I was just on my way to visit my brother, in fact. We could meet there in half an hour? Sounds good. See you soon. Eli on hautumaalla, niin totta kai. Siinähän se odotteleekin. Hello, Erica. Hi, Cordelia. Cordelia... This is hard for me to say. I don't even know where to start. Try me. I remembered something from the night that my brother died. I knew I had seen you before, but I, I couldn't place it. Three years ago, you were here the night he was murdered in this cemetery. I know. That's why I tried to find you at the FBI office. I remembered seeing you here that night, too. When I realized who you were, it was horrible. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I hope it wasn't a problem my coming by the office. I just didn't know how else to contact you. It's fine. <laughs> it's just been a busy few days. I can give you my cell phone number if you ever need to contact me again. Thank you. I talked to Rose. You were right. She's been a big help. She's a good woman. I'm glad it worked out. What kind of pain did she help you with? Oh, it was... She helped me deal with Max's death. We'd just moved into a new place before it happened, and I... I wasn't dealing very well with it. I felt like I had no one else to turn to, no one else who understood what I was going through. Oh. Well, glad she could help you. I was lucky I had people like John and my dad after Scotty died. I can't imagine going through it alone. What was your brother like? Max, he was the real star in the family. Brilliant. Everyone loved him, and he was always kind to me. We lost our parents when I was still young, but he always looked out for me and made me part of the business. I wasn't really qualified at the time, but I tried to be for him. It sounds like you were really close. We were. I miss him so much, even now. I know he's gone, but there's still this hole where he used to be. Well, same with me and Scotty. I'll hear a joke I know he'd love, or see a movie that's right up his alley, and, and sometimes I forget for a minute that I can't tell him about it. Those are some of the best minutes, though. You said you took over the business from your brother. What do you do? He owned and managed some properties in the city, so now it's what I do. I'm not nearly as visionary as Max was, though. Mmm, sounds like good work. Not quite as interesting as being an FBI agent. <laughs> interesting, yes. Good for your blood pressure or psyche, that's up for debate. That sounds like you've had a bad day. Bad you could say that. Do you want to talk about it? A friend of mine was taken by someone this morning. I don't know where he is, but I know he's hurt badly and I... I have to find him. 
That's awful. But you sound determined. I'm sure you'll find him. Just finding him isn't good enough. I found Scott, I found Davies, and I was too late to save either of them. I know what it's like to lose someone close to you, Erica. You care about this friend of yours a lot, don't you? <sighs> I do. More than I've let him know. But there are things I haven't told him about myself. I wish things were... Simple? Exactly. Something normal. Something that isn't messed up. <sighs> but I'm starting to think there is no not messed up in my life. You sound a lot like me sometimes. You didn't need to come to the office to tell me you remembered me. Why were you really there? I wasn't sure I wanted to say it. I feel kind of dumb. It's just... Recently, I felt unsafe at my apartment. I started noticing a man hanging around. Mm. I don't like how he looks at me. After I realized who you were, I remembered something. That night you were here, I think I saw him here too. What? Cordelia, what do you mean? I can't be positive. He looks different. There are scars on this guy's face, but I swear I remember those eyes. It might be him, but more importantly, I'm afraid. Mm. If that man is really... I, I can't check it out myself right now, but I can get a car over there at least. Someone to keep an eye on things until I can get there myself. You do that? Well, thank you so much, Erica. I live at the Enthon Towers by the Charles River. You did the right thing. I'll get over there myself soon, I promise. What were you doing here? I was visiting Max's grave. And how did you get close to the crime scene? I was sitting here, and I heard a gunshot. I didn't know what it was, so I called 911. Minutes later, I saw the commotion, the police cars, and I got closer. A police officer asked me to leave, but before I did, I saw you. It was you. I need Thank you so much, Erica. If there's anything I can do, even if you just need to talk again, you've got my number. I might take you up on that. I like not feeling quite so weird.